As Democrats argue over their ambitious plan for infrastructure, social services and climate change, Joe Biden went back to the blue-collar Pennsylvania town he grew up in. You know, it's like that old saying goes, you can take the boy out of Scranton, but you can't take Scranton out of the boy. The U.S. president was in Scranton to highlight the middle-class values he says are at the heart of the package that Democrats are racing to seal an agreement on. Our infrastructure used to be the best in the world, not a joke, the best in the world. Today, according to the World Economic Forum, we rank 13th in the world. That's why I proposed two critical pieces of legislation that are being debated back in Washington. Now, there's some really smart national press with me today, and they have understandably believed that there's no possibility of my getting this done. But I think we're going to surprise them. After working for months to bridge the gap between the once sweeping vision preferred by progressives and a more limited version that can win over centrists like Senators Kirsten Sinema and Joe Manchin, the White House is indicating it will pare back the size of the social spending package, the main bone of contention. The initial $3.5 trillion figure would be cut to less than $2 trillion, with Biden compromising on his ambitions for clean energy, access to college and help for families. The Senate has already cleared the $1.2 trillion for the other bill to improve creaking U.S. infrastructure. The other sticking point is how to pay for all this. The White House is shelving a proposed hike in corporate tax rates and putting forward instead a new billionaire's tax on the investment gains of the richest Americans. Democrats are pressing for an agreement by the end of the week.